Pacific Island countries have a rich history of trade spanning thousands of years. That same trade continues today with some noticeable changes. Double-sided canoes have been replaced with cargo ships and goods are mostly transported using sea containers. Trade is just as important now as it was back then, with exports and imports the key to powering key industries like agriculture, fisheries and tourism. This is why clean sea containers are so important, because dirty sea containers can carry pests and diseases that can devastate key industries and harm the unique natural ecosystems across the Pacific. Take for example, snails. While they're slow moving, they can spread widely by stowing away on containers and the goods being moved inside them. The particularly destructive giant African snail eats over 500 plant species, including most vegetables, ornamental plants, banana, citrus, even tree bark and the forest trees. Snails also pose a threat to human health because they carry bacteria and parasites that can be transmitted if handled with bare hands or eaten. And then there's ants, like the infamous fire ant that inflicts painful stings on humans and animals, and the crazy yellow ant that causes skin and eye irritations. These ants can cause serious damage to the environment, not to mention the agriculture and tourism industries. Other common sea container stowaways include moths and beetles. The tiny cupra beetle is able to hide away for years in the cracks and crevices of a sea container before emerging to contaminate dried plant products like grains and rice, posing a serious risk to agricultural industries. It is also very important to look out for soil. Soil can contain all sorts of unwanted material like weed seeds, pests, diseases, and animal waste and must be washed and cleaned from the sea container. No one wants contaminated soil entering their country. Sending dirty sea containers is also costly for individual exporters and importers. If containers are found to be dirty when they're inspected at the border, they'll be sent for cleaning and treatment. That's not the only cost to consider though. You're likely going to face extended delays which means additional costs for things like storage, movement and further inspections. Time is money in business, so the longer it takes for the sea container to enter the market, the more expensive it will be. The simple way to minimise this risk? You've guessed it, clean, pest-free sea containers. PESA Plus, supporting the safe export of goods and economic growth across the Pacific.